Let's go! The Phillies win today, 7-3. to And right now, at the time that I'm recording, the Braves are down 5-1 to in the bottom of the 8th. So, potentially, the Phillies right now are going to take the single-handed lead over there at the top of the NLEs, baby. We had... A beautiful day on the mound, a pitching debut by De Los Santos, and it was beautiful. He went six and one third. He allowed five hits, three earned runs, three walks, six strikeouts, and 94 pitches. He had the stuff. I mean, keep in mind, we got this kid. We got him from the Freddie Galvis trade with the Padres. I mean, he showed us legitimate stuff today. It was beautiful. Now, early on, yeah, he walked the guy here and there, but he found his stroke. He found his game, and he was dialed in and did beautifully. It did help, and I was very happy with the Phillies offense, and it gave him a little bit more confidence, a little bit more wiggle room to work with, jumping to an early lead. Let's dissect how this game started off. Michael Frank which is a story on its own on the top of the second with a three-run shot, baby. Let's go. He's not done there. We will get to him. In the top of the third, Nick Williams, he singles, and that scores two more runs. We have a 5 to nothing lead for a young pitcher making his MLB debut to start on the mound. I mean, you, you can't ask for a better start from that for your squad to back up a rookie first game starter in the MLB by knocking in five runs. It's just, it's absolutely perfect. You can't write it up any better than that. Bottom of the third, though, the Mets respond. They get one run on their own with a sacrifice fly. May I also add, though, that uh, De Los Santos also had two sacrifice bunts in this game. I mean, that's more than Jake Arrieta and Nick Pavetta, although I understand that Jake Arrieta likes to swing for the fences. Top of the fifth, Odubel Herrera with a single shot. 6-1. to one. Top of the 6th, Kingery scores because of Michael Franco, who gets another RBI. That is four RBIs on the night. And I mean, Michael Franco was cooking. He is second in batting average behind Odubo Herrera right now, and that's saying a lot. He is second on the team in batting average. He's making good plays defensively, too, throughout the last few games. Boys, boys, we might have to readjust here on what our situation is moving forward with Michael Franco, just saying. And then, so it's 7-1 to one now after Franco gets that single to center, and the, the Mets end up scoring in the bottom of seven. Two more runs to make it seven to three. But at the end of the day, the Phillies get the W. And De Los Santos looks absolutely outstanding. He looks solid. He is entertaining to watch. He was supposed to be pitching in a futures game. And he got the, the apparently there was a joke being played on him. Like, oh, you're not going to do that anymore. And he got a little upset. because. But then they told him, yeah, because you're going to pitch for the Phils. Because you're going to pitch for the Phils. Let's go, boys. Tommy Hunter also got in there. I was curious to see how that was going to work out late in the game, but only seven pitches, not too much really to ask for. So looking at some stat lines for your Philadelphia Phillies. Cesar coming off that the injury right now, 0 for 5 on the day, which was a little interesting to see. Reese Hoskins gets three hits today. Who's your daddy? What's he do? Oduble, 2 for 5. And he also gets an RBI and two runs scored. Nick Williams, 3 for 5 couple RBIs. I like it. He's starting to swing the bat pretty smooth as well. He's starting to look a little bit solid, a little bit more comfortable ever since that solid home run a few games ago. Michael Franco, obviously, two for four. Scott Kingery had a double on the day, and um, it was just solid. All around solid. The Phillies got the bats going. They had 13 total hits on the day, scoring seven runs. And may I add that Carlos Santana, yes, you look at his stat lines. Yes, 0 for 3. Uh, two walks. The guy always finds a way to get on base with the walks. It's actually beautiful to see. So when you just when you break this down, I'm just going to take a look here, and I want to know. I want to know if it's the ninth yet for this Atlanta Braves squad. Let's look. The score with the Braves. Hold on. Hold on. Six to one, bottom eight. One out, guys on second and third. Please don't do this to me. Please, Braves, don't come back from this one. I want this single lead. I want this single-handed lead, which I think we can do. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, comment down below. I will see you next time.